Are you ready for this week's energy forecast? Join us now on Angel Talk Tuesday as Julie Geigel, Susan Schuler, and Terry Huberman allow masters from beyond to speak directly through them, sharing weekly energy forecasts. Julie channels Archangel Metatron and the Pleiadians. Susan works with a collective conscious known as Jacob, master teachers from the Akasha, and Terry channels her spiritual team, affectionately known as Team Terry. Combined, they share a beautiful energy forecast that shines the light on where your attention is best spent right now. This information is sure to help you navigate the ups and downs of being human here on planet Earth. Just being in this high vibrational frequency will help you awaken, expand, and remember your magnificence. Welcome, welcome everyone. Good morning, this is Julie Geigel. And you are listening to Angel Talk Tuesday. And I have our beautiful co host this morning, Susan and Terry. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> All right. Well, let's just dive right in. Again, I'm Julie Geigel, international psychic medium, trance channeler for Archangel Metatron, and awakened healer. And you can find me over at juliegeigel.com and on Facebook at Psychic Medium Julie. And I don't think we have any classes or anything coming up um, this month. We are, we've started our Lightworkers Mentorship Program and it is amazing. And um, we won't be offering that again until either late fall or next year. So be sure to take a look at that uh, over at Eventbrite if it's something that you're interested in developing your psychic and mediumship, gift, mediumship gifts. Susan and I teach that class online together and it's been pretty exciting. All right, well, we are going to just dive right into a beautiful uh, trance channeling this morning with Archangel Metatron. And we're going to ask my girls to um, turn their videos off and mute themselves. Perfect, perfect. All right. So I'm going to have you just take three deep breaths with me as I move my camera. You can catch this live on <laughs> um, YouTube. So I upload this after the show and you can watch it live over there on YouTube. I believe my channel's Julie Geigel. All right, here we go. Welcome. I am Metatron here in service to humanity. We welcome in the Pleiadians here joining us this beautiful day. creating a perfect space for healing. Open your heart to receive this beautiful transmission of light. Each week, the waves of light become stronger and more intense. Preparing for the beautiful new moon this Saturday. Oh. 
calling in your own spiritual team to assist you in determining where your energy is best spent for this week. For it is individual for each of you Yet it is collective as a whole as we gather here this morning. And your energy is best spent this week being prudent with your time and your money. releasing and letting go of those fears that are holding you back. Oftentimes, you get stuck in illusions that do not serve you. You may receive a glimpse here and there of what your life could be. And then you allow your ego, the mental chatter in your mind to believe the stories that it creates. Step out of your story of pain and fear of the unknown Break free from those illusions. And rise up into your magnificence and glory as you prepare for Mercury retrograde coming next week, it often brings up things that you thought you have dealt with in the past. It is just another layer, another level of releasing and healing. Do not fight it. Do not be frustrated by it. Allow it to be what it needs to be. As you honor and recognize your emotions, your feelings, they will begin to dissolve and dissipate. They will no longer hold any power over you and you will be free, full of joy, filled with the love that you are and able to be present in your life and prudent with your time. And as social media has served a purpose here on your planet, bringing people closer together in communication and communion, it has also created problems in and of itself. Addictions to constantly be engaged with your phone lest you miss a call or a message from someone. Again, this is where it's important for you to be aware 
of where you are spending your time during your day so that it is not lost on activities that bring no value to your life. We encourage you to put your phones away where they are out of reach, at least for short periods of time during your day, so that you may truly focus on whatever task you have at hand. And as well, we encourage you to take a closer look and examine areas in your life where you can simplify. It could be as simple as eating out less or shopping in different stores that are more cost effective. You would be surprised at how little you need to live. This week, we invite you to go inward to simplify your time and become aware of any energy leaks that have been created. This is one way to prepare for the backward energy that is moving in. Open your heart and receive the exciting life you came here to live. I am Metatron and I have spoken here this day. This is Julie Gaga. The future of Internet Radio is here. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Change and growth are part of natural life and also part of your spiritual life. Everyone needs support and guidance, especially during life passages. Upgrade yourself with the Ohm Times Experts program. With Ohm Times Experts, you have access to the best intuitive coaches, spiritual teachers, counselors, astrologists, and oracles. Our team was carefully selected so you can trust. Find out more at experts.ohmtimes.com. Do you need help with relationships, romance, or career? I'm a triple-tested, accurate, and ethical psychic medium and spiritual counselor. Simply click on my Call Me Now button at juliegeigel.com. Mediumship readings offer much closure and healing. This is Susan Schuler. Let me connect you to your loved ones on the other side. Schedule an appointment at mediumsusan.com. And we are the Psychic Angel Channelers from Angel Talk Tuesday. Hosted every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern on omtimesradio.com. Hi, I'm Kelly Fox, host and astrologer of The Astrology Show. Each week, I'll give you access to the current transits, which are a valuable tool that provide astrological information to help unlock the potential each of us has. Understanding the stars can help steer us in the right direction to make better informed choices. So if you're wondering what's going to happen in your week ahead, be sure to tune in to The Astrology Show for guidance, Mondays at 9pm Eastern Time. Well, I finally did it. I opened a 401k. What? Why? Just wait for the inheritance. We've definitely got a rich uncle somewhere. We're one call away from the winner's circle at the Derby, dinners with multiple forks, a vacation home in the country, using summer as a verb. You don't actually think that, do you? When it comes to financial stability, don't get left behind. Get tools and tips for saving at feedthepig.org. This message brought to you by the American Institute of CPAs and the Ad Council. Welcome back to Angel Talk Tuesday. This is Susan Schuler. I, I am a professional psychic medium based in the Los Angeles area. As a channeler, I work with Jacob, who is a master teacher of the Akashic Records. 
Uh, he is also who I tap into when I do my psychic readings as well as when I do my past life readings. Uh, I was a high school English teacher for almost 25 years prior to doing this work full time and now I am blessed to do my spiritual work. Uh, part of this also includes uh, doing the one-on-one -on -one readings that I do using Skype um, and I read for people all over the world. Uh, I'll do one-on-one -on -one readings in um, my location in Santa Monica, which is right in Los Angeles. And I also do phone readings. Uh, I will also be doing uh, small group readings, and I sometimes do them at my location in Santa Monica. I have one coming up with another medium on April 14th. Her name is Jules Davis. She's lovely and quite gifted as well. Um, if you'd like any information on that, you can find that at my website. Terry Huberman and I are also doing an event in Hollywood at the Complex on uh, March 24th. And that's more of a psychic fun and a mediumship event. Uh, Terry and I both have theater backgrounds, so it's very entertaining. We read the audience. Uh, aside from doing spirit connections, we'll do psychic readings and uh, psychometry. Terry loves her psychometry and she's quite good at it. So we'll be doing both of those things as well. Um, Julia, she mentioned she and I teach classes and I'm actually starting a home circle that I've not been doing for a while, but because of popular demand, I think the time is right for me to be doing this. And I'll be starting it. It's a four week development circle in my Santa Monica location. And um, you can find any of this information at my website at mediumsusan.com. That's mediumsusan.com. So let me take a nice deep breath now and ask Jacob to step forward, turn my video off, and just see what he has to say to us today. Hello, beautiful children of the earth. We are most joyful to be with you on this bright new day. A new day of unlimited possibilities. We are excited for you. These times of unrest and upheaval wash away the old ways and patterns. So rather than lamenting and stressing yourselves out, it is far easier to experience these transitions when you allow yourself to willingly surrender into them. Relax within to the flow of these transitions. Life on your earth is much like swimming in a river. When you enter, the water may be cold and can offer a bit of a shock to the overall system. But once you begin to swim, your body acclimates to the new environment. There are times the water is calm and the sunshine will reflect upon it, bringing a beautiful, healthy glow to your face as you float along. Then there are other times it appears to be calm, but there are nearby unseen eddies and whirlpools that can suck you deep within. Still there will be times of exhilaration when the rapids bend and twist you around only to gently make your way back to the subtle turns. Rarely, but it does happen, there will be enormous waterfalls you can hear in the distance. If you fight against these, 
you will surely lose. So you either must decide to surrender and gently make your way to the shore or totally trust, surrender, and allow yourself to go with the current, hoping to stay at the very top of the falls. In reality, it is all unknown. We say this to you not to fear and live in fear, but to get back to the topic at hand of waste not, want not. For some things you control and some things you do not. Many times in life, you must just surrender and not fight it. But we remind you of all you already have in reality. Everything, and we mean everything, you need, you already have. We repeat this. Everything you need, you already have. This is and always has been the way of it. But we still see you wasting these beautiful natural resources that are innate to your very being. You overthink. You overplan. You overworry when in reality, you simply need to use what you have rather than worry about attaining more. If you are listening to this, you are part of the enlightened wave who feels deeply inside that there is more to your life than watching your nightly news, the newest reality show, or driving the fanciest car. You feel a deeper need to connect, and you know that when love leads the way, fear and the ego can no longer run the show. We see you know these things, but also realize how easy it is to fall back to the old ways. But you have worked and come far. Be patient with yourself as these changes occur. There is no need to look outside yourself but rather we remind you to keep digging deep within for the most precious gifts are buried truly in your own backyard. You are powerful pieces of the great divine source of all that is. It is more than remembering who you are. It is about using who you are. You are such a special and unique piece of the puzzle of the whole. No one can complete your piece in the way you can. You are special. You are needed. We need you and others need you. But do not forget, you need you. Assess all the many amazing things that you have in your life right now. Stop. Slow down. Look around. Appreciate and be grateful for this 
is where it all begins. Thank you. This is Susan Schuler channeling Jacob from the Akashic Records. Up next is beautiful Terry Huberman, who will be channeling her team. Thank you. The cutting edge of conscious radio. Own Times Radio. IOM FM. Host your show on IOM FM, the radio network of Ohm Times Media, one of the more recognized brand names in the conscious community, and is backed by the extensive marketing reach of Ohm Times. Hosting a show on IOM FM immediately connects you with our extensive, dedicated community. Would you like to speak to an Archangel? Hi, I'm Julie Geigel, Trans Channel for Archangel Metatron. Book your session now and get the clarity and insight you need to make this your best year yet. Past life readings promote understanding about current life situations. This is psychic medium Susan Schuler. Let me help you gain insight. Book an appointment today at mediumsusan.com. And we are the Psychic Angel Channelers from Angel Talk Tuesday, hosted every Tuesday at 10 a.m. Eastern on OMTimesRadio.com. Tune in to the Practical Intuitive Mind, Body, Spirit for the Real World with me, host Robin Fritz, Mondays at 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 Eastern. I'll cover personal and business intuition, animal communication, mediumship, space clearing, past life regression, shamanic insights, energy healing, soul choice, and more, all to help you tap your own intuitive and healing skills. No ifs, ands, or buts. Today, my new dad and I shot off a rocket in the park. Today, my new son and I failed to shoot off a rocket. The rocket launched into the air. And then crashed into the pond. I'll never forget that day. I'll never forget that day. Even if I tried. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Thousands of kids in foster care will take you just as you are. For more information on how you can adopt, visit AdoptUSKids.org. A public service announcement from the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Angel Talk Tuesday. I am Terry. Nice to see all of you again on this beautiful Tuesday morning. I uh, just wanted to uh, reintroduce myself to you since I'm still new and I'm still getting my bearings. Um, I am not only a psychic medium, but I'm also an IET practitioner. So I use the angelic realm in energy healings to transmute cellular DNA blocks. So um, I'm available for those private as well as the psychic readings remote or in person. And also just wanted to uh, piggyback on a Susan's um, uh, sort of, uh, I'm totally pre-Mercury retrograde phase here, uh, shadow phase, um, our event that's coming up on March 24th. We're so excited about this. It's really high energy, high fun, and that's in Hollywood on March 24th. And uh, I also have an intuition class that I teach as well, and that starts on the 25th of March. And you can find out all of this information on my website, which is terryhuberman.com. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with our channeling today. So um, just give me a moment here to tap in and log into my team and we'll get ready. Here we go. Time is human. Time is human made. And therefore, we don't abide by it. You abide by it and worship it. You feel it gives you the lay of the land so that you don't have to aim around wanderlessly. If time were viewed differently by you, connections to people, places and situations would be effortless and more meaningful because of their authenticity without the stress of always having to meet it. 
when time is used incorrectly, contrary to what you are thinking. It's a more deliberate play in your game of life. It becomes precise and calculating and therefore restrictive. Because our view of time is different, meaning we don't have existence of time, we just are. We don't have complications like you do. We don't have to manage anything, but you do. We don't get drawn into frustration like you do. Your worship of time distorts the real you. What we mean by this is that it doesn't allow you your flow to drift along with the current of well-being. Your worship of time creates blocks and resistance to the flow. It's the flow and continuous movement forward that we want you to be in so that it meets the beingness of what is just what is. The what is, is the open space. It's the space of nothingness and everything mutually at the same time. It's the space where humans can be authentic with their feelings, their creativity with their manifestation. You might best resonate with that as a feeling of being in the state of grace. We understand that worshiping time is a human man-made phenomena and has to exist on your planet as it helps in soul evolution. We want you to evolve, grow, expand, we also want you to be able to worship your time in a peaceful manner. We want you to recreate those moments and feelings of grace as often as you humanly can. We wish nothing more than for you to worship your time schedules coming from a place of acceptance and joy. We wish for you to expand your growth through acceptance and joy. For when you worship time from this manner, your connections to people, places, and situations uh, can be clear and perspective experiences. And with clarity comes direction. Direction is what all you humans want, after all. A sense 
of safe knowing to give you the security and comfort to live so that you can be as best as you can feel you would perceive and those perceptions would be freedom. Freedom is a state of the human mind with consistent practice. Humans can learn to return to that feeling and sense of freedom when they are not resisting. Acknowledgement of that restriction is what is needed first. That is your step one. Step two is the collection of your energetic field, which humans gather through deep breathing. Step three is an act of acceptance that time is worshipped and resistance has been activated. The mere act of acceptance allows humans to find that stream and flow to move forward to continue straight so that you can flow right into it. We understand your worship of time and we also understand that you're able to get through it peacefully and securely. This has been Terry and I Bringing a more conscious lifestyle to your world. Ohm Times Radio. IOM FM. Hi, I'm Terry, a psychic medium and energy healer. Feeling stuck in your life? Let me help motivate you to reach your goals. I offer remote phone and face-to-face private readings as well as group and large event sessions. Booking a reading with me will bring you hope, comfort, and closure. Find me at terryhuberman.com and on the social media channels Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Be sure to stop by my website and pick up your free meditation today at terryhuberman.com. are live on Facebook right now. Welcome. Welcome back, everyone. And uh, this is Julie Geigel with Angel Talk Tuesday. And we have the beautiful Susan Schuler and Terry Huberman uh, joining us this morning. Good morning, gals. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Hello. Awesome. <clears throat> I'm just turning my mic up so I can hear you. Um, all right. So if you see us on Facebook, stop say hi. <laughs> Please go <laughs> ahead, post your name, what state you're in, send us some flowers, tell us what you loved about our channeling this morning, or what you know, what's going on this week in your life, where is your energy best spent? So that's what we're talking about this morning. We just finished some live channeling over on our radio show at ohmtimes.com, ohmtimesradio.com. And uh, this will be uploaded to our YouTube channel here shortly. And we will be giving away a free psychic reading at the end. So if you're joining us in our news feed over on Facebook, um, make sure you stop by and say hi. Go ahead and post your first name, what state you're from, and how can we help you this morning? How can we help you this morning? We are gearing up for Mercury retrograde, and I'm telling you, I can already feel it. <laughs> How about you, girl? I'm physically, physically feeling it. Like, I can't even talk today. 
Like, I don't know. It is what it is. I got to just surrender. Right, right. I think some of it's got to do with the fact that today is Monday and I feel kind of all off because we switched the day that we're doing that. So that's what I'm going to blame it on to Terry, just so you know. Oh, well, okay. Well, my tongue is I tied, am, literally. I'm blaming it on daylight savings time. Now, do you girls have daylight oh, savings that. time over there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. that was that was a tough one this morning. <laughs> <laughs> very, very tough. All right, let's go ahead and dive right in with uh, Metatron's message. Uh, Susan, what came out there for where should we spend our energy this week? What was Metatron's um, thought? Okay, I'm just going to give the quote that he said, um, oftentimes you get stuck in illusions that do not Mm -hmm. serve you. And he started off right there talking about the stories (laughs) that we tell ourselves and that we uh, embrace. Um, And as I was listening to that, I, I, you know, of course, we always put it back on ourselves because that's the way the ego likes to do it. But it's so interesting when you think of all the stories that we've accepted as our truth. And it's almost like you do this all growing up. And then once you're sort of like in your 30s, then you spend the rest of your life trying to deprogram yourself. And um, I feel like I'm in the midst of deprogramming. And uh, I know for personally, as a a teacher and as a student, um, I always had learning issues. So for years, I thought I was dumb. And uh, you know what I mean? So it was a real major switch once I kind of stopped telling myself that story. And then I became a learning junkie. So, I mean, we have the potential to move forward, and I think that was very interesting, and that was just where he started off talking about that. Um, Then, and I'd love to get into this, but I'm going to jump it over to Terry first, where he talks about phones, too, because to me that's always, like, (laughs) such an important thing. So, Terry, you can... (laughs) I was actually, you must be psychic, because that's what I was going to bring up, because I felt like, you know, Metatron was like, yo, Terry, you know, put that phone away. Um, and, and all about how um, it's, it is a new addiction, it is. And um, though social media does have its benefits of bringing and collecting and uniting people together, it also has brought up the addiction part. So people who do have addiction-oriented personalities anyways, well, here's just another numbing material. So, um, you know, he was very strict with that, actually, and I kind of felt like he was talking to me. I'm just saying I kind of like to post a lot on the book of faces and the Instagram. But, um, you know, he was also talking about being focused and just take the focus and just deal with that. And then, you know, you can kind of like figure everything else out. But focus. Yeah. Yeah. And I have to say, um, I just started Marie Forleo's B-School. And I, it's something I'd, I've wanted to do for five years, but it's a little pricey. And I finally just bit the bullet and did it this year. It's just been incredible. But one of the things she talks about is um, how to manage your time. And I know that's one area I really needed help with. And I didn't realize that I have a problem with my phone until I tried to do exactly that. I tried to like shut my phone off and shut everything down and just focus on one task. And I, you know, my brain is programmed to be constantly checking that phone every five minutes. And my husband had said something, you know, about watching TV. Can we just watch a two hour movie without you looking at your phone one time? And (laughs) Guilty. Literally, when Metatron said, put it in another room, it was like, yeah. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Damn you, Metatron. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, look at this day and age that we're in. I was just watching the news the other day. It said Facebook is um, their community down 34%. So we really do have a lot of new awareness on this social media addiction and people are standing up and taking notice and saying, okay, uh, (laughs) hello, my my name's Julie and I'm addicted to my phone. Um, (laughs) You know, not even so much social media, but it's like, oh my gosh, what if I'm not available 24 seven for my children? Yeah, that's insane. And, and you know, Julie, if I can interject here, and it's not even our phones. Now everybody's wearing watches. Um, they've got the, the cordless ear things. So when you're talking to them, you don't even know that they're tapped in and talking anymore. 
um, because both their ears are plugged up and then they're getting these little beeps and bops on there. It's just a matter of time before they stuff it in our heads. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah. that, that, that message rung deep for me too. Um, definitely time to unplug and we are live on Facebook right now. We're looking to give away a free psychic medium reading for you. So if you're just tuning in right now, please be sure to stop by and say hi. Go ahead and post your first name, where you're from, and how can we help you this morning, this beautiful um, March morning, bright and early, because it's daylight savings time. We're all trying to get adjusted to that. We're going to jump <laughs> into messages from Jacob. And uh, Jacob is always, I love Jacob's analogies. I mean, he just, I'm like, Metatron, I want you to do more of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, life on earth is much like swimming in an ocean. And honestly, Susan, I hope you do some tweetables with your channeling because <laughs> you really get it, <laughs> nail it. Um, it may be a shock at first, but your body acclimates. So I really just enjoyed that analogy of, yeah, because that's really how I felt when I came into this body, that it was a shock. And it was like, oh, wait, wait a minute. I changed my mind. <laughs> I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this. This is not pleasant. Um, waste not want not some things you control and some things you don't so kind of like that serenity prayer let go of mm -hmm. what you can't control because you can't control all of it um good morning glenda our beautiful glenda thanks for joining us here and everything you need you already have uh jacob knows this is my all-time favorite quote everything you want and need you already have and are and um it going within. I think it was a theme that was talked about throughout is that um, with especially with the retrograde, it is about going within and taking a look at what do you have um, this week, your energy really isn't spent on communing with other people, which we often find in a retrograde, it's more about going within and less about being social. Um, but, you know, that was a, another theme today. It's like you are your own best friend. You are your own. Um, you are your own um, way. You don't need anything outside of yourself. You already have everything, all that beautiful love, all those beautiful gifts, everything that you need in this lifetime is within yourself. It's, it's about unlocking that. Terry, any thoughts on Jacob? Yeah, Jacob mentioned surrender a few times. And um, basically, because we already have what we already have <laughs> and who we already are, if we just surrender into it, we'll be able to remember that, right? And so uh, it's our overthinking. He said we overthink. We over plan and we over worry. And so that's where the surrender actually doesn't come in. So if we can, you know, kind of surrender into that, then we are not going to resist who we truly are. And we rem remember who we truly are because the reality is that it's already there. We just have to get there. Absolutely. Through absolutely. Surrender. Yeah. And I'm trying to um, multitask here. Uh, Susan, yeah, any here. thoughts? <laughs> any thoughts on Jacob's channeling? Well, on your multitasking, I'm always impressed, quite frankly. But that has nothing to do with Jacob. <laughs> so, no, with Jacob, well, Jacob, um, Jacob might like it. <laughs> yeah, 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 really. Um, no, I think it's really important, like what he talks about, um, with just being able to. Um, totally lost my train of thought, you guys. Oh my God. Oh Mercury my God, Terry, this is. <laughs> I, I know I kid you not. And this is the perfect example because Mercury retrograde, Mercury <laughs> just wants us to slow down, review and reflect. So we are living okay. it for all of you guys out there. So you don't have to. Oh my to. God, this is like painful. I thought, you know, it's bad enough that I'm middle-aged and my brain's oh, no. always like blah, blah, blah. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome. <laughs> so I don't know, Julie, you're going to have to refresh okay. me what you yeah, were just I'm talking ready. about. <laughs> I'm ready to jump back in here. It's all good. Just <laughs> 
Yeah, yeah. So keep digging, go within. Also loved how he said, you are unique. There's nobody else out there like yeah. you. And it is just, it's your show. It is absolutely your show and you can do it. You can do it. Um, oh, all right. Oh, I remembered jump. something, Julie. I remember. Oh, good, good. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> the one thing that he did say that I wasn't I, I wasn't particularly thrilled with when he was giving the analogy about life being a river, um, and he said at the end about sometimes we hit waterfalls. Um, personally, I grew up near Niagara Falls, so when I think waterfalls, I think of a 200 foot waterfall oh, with one. like huge horseshoe fall. I mean, just crazy. So that panics me a little bit. But I love the fact that he was saying about having to surrender into it because there have been cases in Niagara Falls where people have gone on the top of the falls and landed and lived. So I guess it's to say that if you kind of go with it, you can make it out even something terrifying Survive. like that. Yeah. Wow. Wow, that's yeah, that's a wow. <laughs> I <laughs> like that waterfall. I'm, I'm not surrendering to that. that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's oh, just boy. awesome, awesome craziness. Um, all right, let's uh, jump over to Terry's team, and Terry talked about the distortion of time, and how we worship time. When we worship time, it creates blocks and resistance to our own flow. So she was really trying to help us, or her team was really trying to help us understand that, you know, we are our worst enemy, that it is within our power. It isn't <clears throat> because a lot of times, because <laughs> I'm guilty of this, <laughs> if I had more time, if, if I had more time, I could do this, that, and the other thing. Well, you know, the, the bottom line is, as Terry's team pointed out, is that, <clears throat> It's your own resistance. It's your own frustration. It's your own annoyance and irritation with yourself that keeps you stuck and um, blocks up that flow. So when you take a look at the time that you have, because we all have the same amount of hours every single day, and when you open up and accept, okay, that this is good. I, whatever I need to get done today, I will get done and not get caught up into that um, frustration and fear, you know, because that creates all that overwhelm. She said that really is the key to freedom in your life is viewing those time schedules with acceptance and joy. Any thoughts, Susan? Do you know, it's funny, the whole time that she was channeling, all I kept thinking was that conference that we went to where um, Catherine, who's a shaman, showed us how to open the book of time and to slow it down and to open it back. I can't tell you how frequently I do that. And the day that you and I were racing to get to the airport, I swear we had so much time. We had coffee, we had bagels, and it was all because we slowed down time. So to me, it also says that we can manipulate time too. So for those people who feel like they never have enough, and yes, it is in our head, but it's like we have so much more power over time than we realize. Yeah, and just to um, clarify that, the technique Catherine taught us was very, very simple. You just um, imagine that your hands are time, um, the book of time, and if you want to expand that, you just open that and you spread your arms apart. And... Um, Ask that time be expanded for you. And I do. I use this all the time, and it really works. Um, but the one that. thing, like she said, too, don't forget to close it back up. Um, if you are finding, oh, you know, things are taking forever, well, you probably yeah. expanded time and forgot to move it back into yeah. its yeah, just original place. <laughs> so, yeah. And, you and honestly, also... it's like, and you can speed it up, too, because, like, when I'm on yes. an airplane, I always speed it up. Always. Yep. yep. <laughs> And how do you speed it up? You just do it the backward. You go backwards. You just say speed up. And but you have to make sure that you slow it down as well because if you don't, then everything is going to be moving too fast. Too fast, yeah. And so for me, I just imagine you know time is like this, and I want to speed it up. Yeah, I want to increase it. So exactly. this expands it, and this slows it down. So expansion, nice contraction. Yeah. Does that make sense? Perfect. Mm -hmm. 
Awesome. Okay. Um, we do have a question here in the chat room in our news feed. <clears throat> we have Shora, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, and she sent us a few emojis. Hi. Uh, what do you see about my love life? And her name is Shora, spelled S Shore with an H on the end. Oh, okay. Like Shora. Yeah. Yep. And I'm going to pull a, a romance card. So if anybody has a thought before I'm ready, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to pull a card too. Let's see. Okay. So the card that um, comes up for you today, Shora, is getting to know each other. So I'm just seeing that right now um, it's really about getting to know each other. Don't uh, dive in too soon. Uh, don't get things rolling too quickly. It, again, it's that Mercury retrograde energy of just take a deep breath, slow down. So whether you're in a new relationship or you're in an existing relationship, it's time to get to know each other on a deeper level. All right, well, I can hear that beautiful music in my ear. That's all we have for you today, everyone. It's been a delight and a pleasure to work with you here this morning. If you're listening uh, to this podcast right now, this is Julie Geigel, Susan Schuler, and Terry Huberman on Angel Talk Tuesday. You can follow us over on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. If you haven't yet, please go to our Apple Podcasts or YouTube and subscribe, rate, and review this episode. And don't forget to join us um, back here next week for a beautiful energy forecast.